there was no mental shift you had to make. Okay, this is there now was because it was like at OVW, um, I felt a lot more comfortable than I mm. did at WWE. So yeah, that yeah. was a little bit. Peter Melnick, who was the one that pitched the airhead character to you, and did you feel insulted by it? No, not at all. Um, I don't know if it was actually Paul or it was Vince. I think um, Vince saw something Paul did with me and liked it because. One time they asked me to cut a promo, and I didn't have anything that day. I'm like, what do you want me to cut a promo about? And they're like, oh, just whatever. So I decided to be funny, and I sang I'm a Little Teapot, and I think right after that is when I got the ditzy gimmick. So, yeah. And actually, um, Vince was right watching me, and he's like, I want you to say The Edge. And I was like, okay. So I said The Edge, and then it just kind of went from there. <laughs> Fat Tony, your Dizzy interviewer gimmick was some of my favorite stuff in the last 10 years. How much of an influence <coughs> was Kelly Bundy from Married with Children? And uh, who came up with the aspect of the character to be all of a sudden well-spoken when asked a serious question? Uh, I didn't really use Kelly Bundy, but uh, more like Lucille Ball or uh, Goldie Hawn, those kind of characters. Um, that are still kind of lovable. Kelly, sometimes you're like, you're just an idiot. So. Right. Um, some more on that side. Uh, and I just said, the people that came up with it, kind of Vince, but I think it was mostly Paul. And, you know. Very good. Mm -hmm. Sliding C, F4W Online, if you had a little more control over your character, would you portray yourself on camera a little more differently? Would you still have done the dumb girl gimmick? I'm guessing yes, because yes. it worked. And I enjoyed it. Right. But I would have liked to stay in that a little longer and become very intelligent about some stuff and stay dumb about other stuff. And that's what I pitched. I wanted to do that so bad. Right after I did the courtroom scene, I wanted to continue on with um, the dumb girl, smart girl gimmick and just kind of go back and forth between it. Mm -hmm. But eh. no room for it. Eh -eh. Eh -eh. Mm -hmm. Who gives you the final? Who's, it just kind of- Is it a Vince thing or the writers just go, yeah, no, no, let's do this instead? Yeah, or they say, oh, we have nothing for you. 